Hey everyone, in this demo, I'm gonna be covering Azure AI's Document Intelligence Platform, uh, also known as Form Recognizer early on. So if you go out to the Azure portal and you look at your Azure AI services, you'll see that you have this ability to create a Document Intelligence uh, link. And you can come out here and click the Create button. And it's going to be just like all the other creates, a very basic flow of entering your resource group, the names, and uh, it does have the ability to give you a free one and a standard. I already created the free one, so we'll be walking through that today. So once it's created, you'll be able to click on the, click on the resource, and it'll take you to the uh, Document Intelligence Overview. And one of the nice things with the Document Intelligence is it has the ability to have a Document Intelligence Studio. So you can click Try It here, and it takes you to the landing page of the Document Intelligence Studio. And the nice thing with this is it shows you all of the kind of out of the box things that Document Intelligence Studio has available. So you can read documents, read uh, labels or layouts of documents, and then uh, analyze just general documents to get key value pairs, table structures, and things of that nature. But it also has pre-built models, things that are kind of more specific. So invoices, receipts, health insurance cards. You can see it has quite a bit of pre-built models already but it also gives you the ability to train your own model. So you can click on the custom extract model. And once you go to it, there on the landing page there, there's a beautiful demo of all the things you need to do to create your own custom model. So I'm not gonna demo that today. But I did wanna show you a little bit about how the studio works. So the first one I'll do is just the general document. And we can see that it already has sample documents here. And so I'm just gonna run the analysis just to kind of give you an idea of what you can see once you uh, analyze a document. So once the analysis is over, we can see it actually pulled out quite a few key value pairs as far as that goes. You can hover over them in the document or you can see them over on the right hand side. Some of the nice things are you can see the uh, check boxes here, checkbox yes, selected, no, unselected, which is pretty neat. And then you can also see the content. So it's pulling off of titles, paragraphs, kind of give you an you know, idea of what the document structure is like. The results are going to just be the JSON format of everything that it returned. So this is going to be more for the tech people. And it also has the ability for you to uh, copy out the code that was used to build this. I want to upload a basic document here. I have a silly little uh, vehicle maintenance document. It hasn't been trained on this that I know of. I just built it to, for the demo. But if I click run analysis here, we can see that I pulled off some nice key value pairs. So my year, make, model, license plate, VIN number, purchase date, and who it was from. Again, looking at the content, we can kind of see the how the overall document is broken out. And it gives you the ability to, so this is the text version. We can do the selected selection marks. I don't have any check boxes in this one. So we can go to tables and we can see that it pulled off the table here for the vehicle maintenance log. And it shows us the date it happened, the services that were completed and so on and so forth. So I didn't train this model at all. It was, I was able to upload my basic vehicle maintenance log and it was able to extract what I can tell everything very well. So just out of the gate, this again gives someone non-technical to be able to play with this concept of document intelligence and see what may be possible for your use case. I did want to go over one other one, which is the pre-built models and some of the fun ones. There's quite a few fun ones. I'm just going to go to the uh, invoices. And this one is more specialized when it comes to the invoices aspect of things. So we can see that we have an invoice here. And one thing that's interesting is we have this, uh, now we have this thing called query fields. And we can actually specify fields that we want specific information from. And we'll see how that kind of breaks down once we run the analysis. So I, I built it, I created the description as a query field. We can see that it, again, it was able to find quite a few key value pairs. If we go over to content, it has one table uh, for the uh, salesperson, the PO number, and then we can click next and we can see that it found the other table as well with all of the invoice items that were on it. But if we go back to fields here, we can kind of see that now there's a highlighted section around description. And so I can scroll down and at the very bottom here, we can see that it highlighted that description and it actually found that field as one of the querying uh, fields which is kind of neat. So you can kind of spe specify what fields you want queryable 
uh, in case they're not showing up. And again, the results is just the JSON object of that and the ability to uh, pull all this off with code. So the Document Intelligence Platform allows you to start playing around with some of the use cases that your company may be able to use. And I'm going to cut to the demo where I'm going to show just a couple of examples of how to execute this with the code. To do some of this stuff programmatically, what you'll first need to do is uh, install the Azure AI Forms Recognizer. We're also going to need the credentials and we'll want to load up the document, the document variables. And then we're just going to create a document analysis client. And this client's going to be what goes off and does the analysis using our AI services. So going back to the examples that we had, I pulled out a sample layout and we can, what we're doing here is we get, when we get the result back, we get a list of pages. And out of those pages, we can grab the page number, lines, words. We can then loop through those lines. So each line within that page, get its content, but also get bounding boxes of where those words exist within that line or within that page. We can also get the selection mark. So again, if there is a checkbox on the page, we'll be able to pull those off and determine if they are uh, checked or not. We can also check if there is any sort of handwritten uh, information on there. If there is, we can extract that as well. And then lastly, just looping through all the tables. So the results will have tables if there are any tables within the document. And we'll loop through those and get the information out of it as well. So the document that we just analyzed, was this sample layout document here. Again, we're seeing that it's a Microsoft uh, Securities and Exchange uh, document. It has a table looking thing here and it has some check boxes. So let's see if we can find some of that information. We can see that it was in the United States Security and Exchange Commissions. We'll make this thing scrollable. So we can see at the bottom here, there was a couple tables found. Here's the header of the tables, the content of that table. Found another table here where it was showing the class of stock. And here are the selection check marks. So selection mark 13 is selected, selection 12 is unselected. So if we go back to the document, I'm guessing there at the very bottom here, this is probably 13, this is 12. Uh, and this is one of the tables that it found here, the class common stock. The other table was the common stocks up here. And we'll do the same thing for an invoice real quick. And that invoice is this invoice here where we have a salesperson PO number, just one item with test fields 23, total of 100 with sales tax of 100 and overall total of 110. We get documents from the result there and that document's gonna have fields. And those fields are going to be all the fields within that document. So a vendor name, customer name. We also have items. So any of the items within the, the list of tables that it pulls out, it's gonna find a subtotal, a tax total, and an invoice total. So all of those uh, fields that we are kind of specifying, if tax total in document fields, if invoice total in document fields, it's pulling it directly from here. So subtotal, sales tax total, those are gonna be the field names. And if we look here, the vendor name is uh, Consanto, customer, Microsoft, description, test 23. So it was able to pull all that information out of the uh, out of the invoice. So that allows you to do quite a few interesting things. Now you're able to uh, grab an invoice. Maybe you can add or subtract inventory from your business. Maybe you're able to add or subtract uh, monetary values from certain areas within your, within your company's use cases as well. So all that's relatively easy being able to use the Azure document intelligence platform. Thanks.